No, Popeyes. Like, yeah, Popeyes fries. Popeyes got some good fries. Oh, you're right about that. Oh, McDonald's is one, though. There's two. Yeah. Or they what can we do to just make it pop, to make it dope, you know? Make it, like, the place, like, not, not like any other place here in the Bronx. The Bronx, a cultural hub of New York, which despite its historically gritty reputation has and continues to turn out refined offerings in the arts, music, and fashion, like Amari's Brouillon. The native Bronx site and fashion designer draws inspiration from his surroundings, in particular, his community. Grouillon and his sister aligned their fashion goals and opened up a shop in the South Bronx, fittingly named Bronx Native. The Bronx has taught me everything I know. You know, it has made me who I am today. Um, I get inspired by the Bronx every day. And uh, the Bronx inspired me to create this brand. It's taught me to work hard. You know, here in the Bronx, we live in the struggle. We live in the hustle, the grind. And it's taught me to, to be tough, you know what I mean? To, to not only survive, but live life. You know, this is a tough world out here. You know, there's a saying that says, only the strong survive. And I believe that. Walking into the quaint shop, you're instantly surrounded by collages of hip-hop culture, graffiti art, and vivid symbolism of the Bronx. Gruyon explained how he wanted to share a part of the community he grew up in with the world, so he opened it up to the public by creating an interactive space. People don't only come here to buy merchandise, they come here to chill, to tag up, to, to uh, you know, share. Um, a drink to share, you know, an experience with other people. And, you know, it's really dope. Let people tag up, you know what I mean? Let's let people leave their mark. And uh, it has literally become a beautiful, like, communal, you know, come together of, like, the Bronx. Uh, and, it, you know, it becomes an experience. Although I'm not from the Bronx, Amari's let me tag the wall, too. Being a proud millennial, I left my Instagram handle. You'll feel nostalgic as you look through the assortment of hats and tees. This is because much of Bronx Native's gear is references to pop culture and moments in hip hop. Amaris explains the idea behind some of his most popular items. We utilize a lot of pop culture in our designs, right? So definitely taking things that may be already in the world and just putting that Bronx twist to it. Remember uh, Drake when he came up with Hotline Bling and the design for it was 1-800-Hotline-Bling, 1-800-Hotline-Bling, you know what I mean? So I kept going, I was like, yo, what if we just take that same design, but just put the Bronx, the Bronx, the Bronx, the Bronx, the Bronx, and it's, you know, it's one of our first designs, actually, and uh, it has, it's still one of our best ones that a lot of people gravitate to and, and buy it. You can't mention pop culture in the Bronx without mentioning 26-year-old rapper and success story, Cardi B. I don't dance now, I make money moves. Gruyon has big goals for Cardi to wear a special shirt designed in her likeness. She said this quote on TV once, I'm just a regular Douglas regular girl from the Bronx. Um, and we was like, yo, let's just put it on a shirt, you know what I mean? And then the back kind of got like a look, you know, that, that BX attitude. Hopefully, we can get one of these to Cardi B and she can wear it and she can put his on, you know? Bronx Native has quickly become more than a clothing store and Gruyon is leaving his mark on his home borough by catering to the arts. The brand hosts regular open mics and a book club. Bronx Native is planning to extend their new line in the new year to feature more items. If you want to collaborate with Gruyon or check out their merch, visit bronxnative.com. Reporting for Bronxnet, Darissa White.